Welcome back to the morning scramble. So, of course, the presidential campaign has been heated, at times gotten ugly. And what does that do to our children? Joining me now is Jacob DiMartino. He is the CEO of the monitoring service Radar. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you're an expert on kids and how they interact yep. on social media. Mm -hmm. And with everything that's happened in this campaign race, I mean, it's gotten pretty ugly at times, especially on social media. Oh, yeah. How do you explain that to kids? Well, you know, it's hard because these are our future leaders. These mm -hmm. are people that are running for office that are going to run our country, the most powerful people in our country. So, you know, parents need to explain to the kids that this is still unacceptable. You know, I think every candidate at one point or time has either bullied the other or been bullied. So they're doing it on all aspects. And I think parents really need to articulate to their kids this behavior is not right. It's, it's wrong. Yeah, and we're not just talking about in a debate or out on the campaign trail. I mean, it is there for everyone to see on oh, yeah. Twitter, on Facebook, oh, uh, yeah. you know, and the kids are seeing it sometimes before we do. Mm -hmm. And there's it's, no way to hide from it. There isn't. There isn't. When somebody's tweeting a nasty picture about, you know, Ted Cruz on social media, some of the pictures that we have displayed here, it's, it's, it's not a good look for kids to be able to see these kind of things and then think, okay, well, that's acceptable for me. Mm -hmm. Now I can go do it online. It's, it's not acceptable at all, and that's why parents, I think, need to address the social media stuff, too, because it has gotten out of control. If you read some of these tweets and look at the pictures, it's, it's almost kind of for our leaders to be doing this stuff. Well, how do you get the conversation going and what do you say? Because as you mentioned, social media is such an important part of our kids' lives yeah. and we as parents need to be monitoring that. No question. I think it's important for parents to articulate to their kids that the reason these candidates are doing this are for votes. They're doing it for popularity too. And that's what parents need to articulate to the kids and they need to monitor what they're watching during the debates. And when something comes up like that where Hillary gets made fun of or Trump makes fun of somebody, they need to address that and say, you know, this not only is not right, but this is something that you should not be doing. Just be So would you say it constitutes cyberbullying? Oh yeah, saying? no question. At it, at its rawest form, you know, these are adults really acting like kids at times. Um, I've read a lot of the tweets too and it is no question cyberbullying. So when you've had a chance to talk to kids, because I know you're out there in mm -hmm. the community doing that, what are some of their reactions to what they're seeing? You know, I, I have gotten a lot of questions. I'm in a lot of schools and um, I think the main thing that kids have asked me is do, you know, authorities get in trouble for this kind mm -hmm. of stuff? Right, is, they want they accountability. Right. Yeah, is there accountability? And really my answer is yes and no. I mean, you know, the public sees this and looks at it as normal, but kids look at this as you should be getting in trouble for this. I would mm -hmm. get in trouble for this at school. So that's been one of the main questions. Are, are these candidates getting in trouble for doing this kind of stuff? And my reaction and response is yes and no. Um, you know, we, we want to let our kids know that there are, you know, consequences for our actions, but unfortunately when you're a presidential candidate, there isn't really a whole lot of consequence when you cyber bully another candidate online. Well, so if you're a parent, and I'm listening to you explain mm -hmm. that. Okay, so we're trying to teach our kids there are consequences. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't cyberbully. That's not what social media is for. And yet, and yes, I'm part of the media. We have to talk about when yeah. some of these tweets are made or some of these posts on Facebook come out. Uh, it's a kind of a catch-22. It is. It is. I think parents mostly need to let their kids know appropriate. It's bottom line, it's bottom inappropriate. Line, it's inappropriate. Good. That kind of be behavior is inappropriate. And just because someone jumps off a bridge, you're not going to jump off a bridge. You know, just because Donald Trump says something, don't act like that. Don't post that because it is wrong and it can hurt somebody and it can lead to devastating things, Captain, like we've seen. Absolutely. I want to take a moment to talk about what Radar does because sure. it's such a valuable service for parents out mm -hmm. there. I know a lot of parents don't understand Instagram or Snapchat or even how Twitter works sometimes and it's so important to educate yourselves. Tell me about how your monitoring service works. Radar, well, great thing is we're digital now, so we are in the app store. So if you have an iPhone, you can download the app and use it. But we are a web-based company too. So we're a social media monitoring company. We allow parents really to get a snapshot of what's going on with their kids online. And Radar gives parents real-time results and feedback of anything potential or harmful with their kids could be happening online, real time. So give me an example of, say for example, how it would monitor Instagram, because I've discovered that a lot of kids use that direct messaging on Instagram oh, yeah. to you know, have their little conversations that they think their parents can't see. No question, no, <laughs> it can monitor that. The kids don't know that is public information, right. even the direct messaging and the private messaging. So Radar will pick and choose the things that the parent wants to see that is most important. A lot of things kid posts are harmless, but again, a lot of things that are posting can lead to really dangerous activity and bullying, harassment, drugs, all of it. So Radar will pick and choose the things that are really dangerous 
and send those things to a parent. And parent looks at it, addresses it, and then it's up to the parent to sit down with their child and say, hey, look, this is inappropriate. And I you can it. pick key words, yep. right, that you can have the service zero in on. Correct. We have a total of 22 topics, mm -hmm. anywhere from sex, cyberbullying, acronyms, slang words, even ISIS recruiting. So those topics are all related to thousands of keywords in our system. And those keywords are the ones that will get pinged if your kids are posting anything relative to that or if anybody in their network is posting that. You'll get fed that. So if your kids are interacting with kids that aren't doing the right thing online, you'll also know about that too. Well, see, I think this is so important for parents to understand because we have these conversations about what your kids shouldn't be posting, but I think a lot of times they don't realize that somebody can easily take a snapshot of even a conversation that oh, they no think is private. So very mm -hmm. good information. Uh, where can they find you? They can find us at radar.com. It's R-A-A-D-R.com. Um, go there. You can sign up free. Not even have to put your credit card in. Your first two months, absolutely free. After that, it's four ninety five a month, Catherine. Like I've told you before, yeah. that is not only affordable, but it's it's online peace of mind. You're fabulous. Thank you so much, and we appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank